The following is part one of a two-part presentation on asthma basics and demonstration of meter dose inhaler, spacer, and dry powder inhaler techniques. This is an instructional video only and not a substitute for personal medical care. Please see your health care provider as necessary. Asthma is a very serious chronic lung disease that can sometimes make breathing difficult. In a person who has asthma, their airways are extremely sensitive and can become inflamed when exposed to different environmental allergens and pollutants such as pollen, pet dander, smoke, or dust. When this happens, the bands of muscle that surround the airway tighten and air will not be able to flow as easily to the lungs. Narrowed airways can cause a person to feel short of breath, make their chest feel tight, and can cause a whistling sound known as wheezing. Asthma symptoms vary from person to person can range from mild to severe and can be affected by seasonal changes. While there is no cure for asthma, individuals can help control their symptoms by recognizing and avoiding triggers that make them worse. There are many different medications used to treat asthma. The type of medication chosen for you depends on how severe your symptoms are and how often you have them. There are two different kinds of inhalers used to help control asthma. The first kind are the rapid relief inhalers, also known as rescue inhalers. These inhalers work almost immediately to open swollen airways and relieve symptoms. The other kind are the long-acting inhalers. These are inhalers you use every day to prevent asthma symptoms. They should be used even if your asthma seems well controlled. You should check with your health care provider to make sure you know which inhalers you have and the purpose of each one. Since asthma treatment can be confusing and controlling your asthma is dependent on the appropriate use of the inhalers you have been given. It is important that you learn to use your inhalers in the correct manner. This video will demonstrate how to use some of the most common inhalers used to treat asthma. Metered dose inhalers are the most common type of inhaler used for treating asthma. A metered dose inhaler consists of a canister and an actuator, which is also known as the mouthpiece. Examples of metered dose inhalers include those containing the medications albuterol sulfate under the trade names Ventolin and Proair and Beclomethazone under the trade name Qvar. To use this type of inhaler, remove the dust cover from the inhaler, correctly position the inhaler comfortably in the hand, shake the inhaler vigorously 10 to 15 times to mix the propellant and the drug. If the inhaler has never been used before or has not been used for a very long time, you may have to activate it by spraying one to three sprays into the room to prime the delivery system. Inhale a comfortable breath and then exhale comfortably to remove most of the air from your lungs. Place the mouthpiece in the mouth past the front teeth. Tilt the head back slightly so the medicine can go into your lungs and not hit the back of your throat when you press the canister down. Begin a slow, deep inhalation through the mouth only. During this inhalation, activate the inhaler by pressing the canister to release a single dose of the aerosol spray. Hold your breath for about 10 seconds or as long as you comfortably can. Doing this allows the medicine to reach the smaller areas of your lungs. You may then begin breathing normally. If a second puff is required or prescribed, wait at least 1 to 5 minutes and repeat the procedure, remembering to shake the inhaler. With inhalers that contain steroids, such as beclomethazone or Qvar, you should rinse out your mouth afterward to avoid getting a fungal infection in your throat. Check with your healthcare provider to see if you have any inhalers that contain a steroid. Metered dose inhalers should be cleaned weekly by removing the metal canister from the plastic sleeve, and allowing warm water and mild liquid dish detergent to run through it. Place the plastic sleeve on a dry, clean towel and allow for it to completely air dry before using again. Using inhalers appropriately can be difficult for some people. If you are not getting the desired result from using your inhalers, talk to your healthcare provider about getting a device called a spacer. Spacers are attached to the end of the mouthpiece to hold the medication that is sprayed from the inhaler. These devices suspend the medication so that the person using them does not have to coordinate their inhalation and giving a puff of the medication. Spacers are especially helpful in preventing the medication from hitting the back of the throat to be swallowed rather than going into the lungs. Exhale completely before you place the spacer in your mouth. 
Inhale a puff and breathe in slowly and deeply. You still need to hold your breath for 10 seconds. If a whistling occurs while breathing the medication in, it means that you have inhaled too quickly and did not receive the full effective dose. Keep track of the number of times you use your inhaler to make sure you don't run out of medication. The package will tell you how many uses are in the inhaler. You should assume that the inhaler is empty when you have used the number of doses that the package states are in the product even if the inhaler still appears to be delivering medication. This concludes part one of the two-part presentation on asthma basics and demonstration of metered dose inhaler, spacer, and dry powder inhaler techniques.